All right, so what is the Great American Smokeout and why is it important to you? Well, joining me today is Dolly Saunders, the manager of the Respiratory Care Department, and Vicki West, a thoracic, a thoracic and lung health nurse navigator from the Chesapeake Regional Healthcare. Uh, thank you, ladies, for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having so me. So we're going to talk about something very important here, and it's uh, kicking the habit. But now, all the ways you can do it, and you've brought uh, some, some uh, information here and, and some things that folks can see, and, and you'll explain to us how to do it. But this is a very important thing because we know that uh, quitting causes so many issues for so many people over the years. So first of all, Dolly, tell us, many people smoke, they, they want to quit, but they can't. What is the one important thing you would tell them to do? One of the most important things is to set a quit date mm -hmm. and stick to it. Um, and uh, when, once you start, if you fail and you uh, relapse, don't give up just and keep just, just keep trying. Yeah, it's one of the hardest it, things you'll it. ever do. It will, yeah. And then they say many people try two or three different times before they actually are successful Absolutely. Uh, at quitting. So Vicki, uh, you know, they say this, you know, this is the leading cause of, of, of this type of lung cancer. So that's another reason um, uh, why you quit. You recommend someone that smoked for a certain amount of time to get tested. Uh, what is that number? Well, you're right, lung cancer uh, attacks patients, 80% of the patients that have lung cancer have been smokers. So now we have a new test, a screening test for lung cancer that you can get a CT scan, mm -hmm. but you have to be high risk and meet the qualifications. And you say smoked over 15 years or greater as someone that you would consider more 30 risk. years, mm -hmm. one pack a day mm -hmm. for 30 years. One pack a day for 30 55 years. 55 to 77. And um, you, if you quit smoking, less than 30 years, less than 15 less years. Less than 15 ago. years. All right. So you do have some criteria that uh, mm -hmm. that you recommend for folks. Mm -hmm. And so, so Dolly, tell me, uh, you know, it reduces your risk a little bit when you do uh, quit. Uh, it says 20 minutes, uh, your heart rate and blood pressure decreases after you quit smoking. There's some right. other interesting facts about quitting as well that help you right. in the long run. What, what are some of those? That's what. That's one of the things that's. Uh, very positive for patients when they start, or someone who stops uh, smoking, is to know that immediately your vital signs start to stabilize, to stabilize. and then also uh, just after two weeks, your lung functions improve. Uh, and that would be like if we tested it with a spirometer yeah. uh, to tell what kind of lung disease you have, COPD, asthma, whatever you have. So we've talked about all, the, all that. So let's talk about some of the items you use to help quit. This is a kit and you have some other items here. Can you explain to us what we have? The quit kit is just something to kind of help uh, patients that are, are uh, people that stop smoking, and it's it. The initial urge mm -hmm. is very strong when you want a cigarette, but if you can just be distracted for about a minute, it takes it away. And one of the interesting things you have here is to use a rubber band and snap your wrist when you get the urge to smoke. Mm -hmm. uh, is that one of, it, one of the one things, of things in the kit in there as well? Is that it sounds silly, but it really does work. It does work for people. It You've does heard work. Of that working. Uh, okay. Chew gum. Yeah. Candy. Chew gum, I think a lot of mm -hmm. us have heard, but we've. I don't think I've heard of the, uh, also, the snap. Uh, yeah. And our uh, smoking cessation uh, mm -hmm. navigator uh, also, uh, she's seen great success with just cutting a drinking straw in half and yes. mimicking that as a cigarette. Even yeah. That sounds a little funny too, but it really does work for people because it, a lot of it is motor mm -hmm. memory that yeah. you have. So you do that, it kind of keeps your brain thinking, all right, um, you know, you're, you, you have something right. uh, similar to a cigarette in your mouth. All right, so the Great American Spoke Out, we see the uh, information right there on your screens. It is uh, Wednesday, November 15th, uh, 5.30 to 7 p.m. And uh, you all are having a lung health resource fair at 800 uh, Battlefield right there. So ladies, um, you know, thank you so much for, uh, for contributing these ideas. It really is something that's caused so much of an issue for so many people across the country and here in Hampton Road. So, hey, participate. These things are, there are tons of free uh, things that you can use to help you quit smoking. So thank you so much.